is Jacob here today, and I have something huge here. Before I get to the video, guys, um, I'm just gonna apologize for all the updates that are coming up, cause I do, cause I just did a video on my Lego motorhome uh, that was updated, and it's just because idea after idea are coming up. So um, I'm sorry for all the updates that are coming up or will be coming up. Because I have updated my truck, and I have updated my mini trailer, which I do have to fix. So, yeah. But without further ado, let's get into the video, guys. So, here we have something pretty, pretty big. It is... It, it like, before I start to give the name, it, like, it doesn't even fit in the screen. It's just huge. It's ginormous. Pretty big. Like it just doesn't fit in the screen. If I move it back. Okay, there there we go. It fits now. Kind of. There we go, it fits. Um I might have to be working at this space now. Or this length away. But without further ado, let's get to the actual plane. So this is a complete mock. This took us a week to build. Or like two days, I forgot, because we built this a while, while back, and I just got my channel, well, like four months ago. I just, I got this channel for like four months ago, and I haven't been paying attention to it. And this video that I did this first year. Also, let me just say Happy New Year's to everyone. It was just New Year's a couple of days ago, so Happy New Year's. I hope you guys all had a fun, fun family time, and just. Yeah, pretty fun. Uh, so did we. Uh, but there's only three people in the house when I have four, uh, th four other siblings far away. Well, I will have five siblings in the next like couple days because my sister's getting married. Um, but yeah, let's just get into it. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you this. This is called the Lego, not well, everybody knows it's Lego. This is called the uh, Twin Tail X Wing or X Wing Twin Tail. First of all, because it's an X Wing, wings move up and down. And second of all, because it's a Twin Tail, it's got two tails. This was supposed to be in the Star Wars series. This, but this was deleted. This was supposed, but this became a deleted scene of the movie. They were going to use this in the movies, but it was deleted. Because, like, people, I don't know why they deleted it, but I don't really have a clue of why. But I wish they did put it in there, because it does look freaking good, guys. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, there are some cool features in, of this. First of all, I'm going to show you that this is very compact, and you're like, you're stupid, man. You're just dumb. I'm not lying. This is actually pretty compact, because you can take all these parts off, and you can have them just laying in, and you can rebuild it super easily. Uh, I might not be able to show that in this video, though. If I can, I'll do it, but if I won't, then I'll just do a separate video of it. So yeah, let's just get into it. So... It's pretty large. It's like 40 studs, like 40, 50 studs long, and then like 60 studs wide. The the width of the wingspan is almost as long as my motorhome that I did a while back. I'm sorry, guys, you can't see it very well. Oh, I hate this because I can't show you it. I wish I had a bigger camera. How about now? So... Yeah, that's about it. That's pretty big. And that's like oh, two feet away from my camera. So it's pretty big. The cockpit does open up, allowing you to have one seat. One seat for a minifig. Sorry, you can't bring your girlfriend a clone. Um, so yeah. One seat, one clone, one control panel. One cockpit. Pretty nice. And one droid. Don't forget the droid. Droids are always important. 
There's only one problem with this droid, if I can get him out this time. This droid is a bit nuclear. Yes, this is a droid. It's nuclear. It can kill you if it explodes. So, try be ca being careful with droids, guys. At least with this one. Because this one can explode in your face. There's something cool about this cockpit, though. If we pull it out, eject mode. Yeah, and you get the supplies in this little package kind of thing. You get your supplies in here. This is eject mode. Pretty nice. Nice narrow down bottom and front. I like how it all narrows down to a single point. Pretty, pretty nice. On the other side, though, you get just a large open space of the two motors. Which lead through power uh, some power cells back here down to the ginormous afterburner thrusters, which give this thing a whole ton of thrust. So yeah, that's it. You just get these pins that connect it from here to there, and that's about it. Um, another cool thing is this thing actually has a hyperdrive motor. Yeah. If I push this down, voila, this is the hyperdrive motor. This is the motor that gets you from one system to the next in 10 seconds. Yeah, this is the hyperdrive motor. It's really cool how it looks and how it's made especially. My brother made this, and I think he does a really good job, because he's 24, he's played with Legos his whole life, he knows how to do stuff. He once made a whole city out of Legos, but then he grew up, he gave them to me, and I kind of destroyed it. I wish I could bring it back. He does still give me advice on Legos, though. He still gives me great advice on Legos. Uh, and it's pretty nice of him. Uh, wings open up, if you want to make it look like an X-Wing, pull them out one notch, and, the per and there you go. Kind of weird, because that's how the top ones are supposed to be, but since, uh, since gravity is pulling them down, it's not full, they're not fully up. If you did it down, though, it would make more sense. But yeah, it just, it's just how it's made. So that is the front of the thing. I kind of want to make this a short video, guys. If you guys heard some screaming out there, that's just because my dad is watching some, some of the news. But that's okay. Let me turn this baby around. Dude, this thing is huge. At the back. You get these really nice dark blue motors. Well, not super nice because they're square. But there's another thing about this back thing. When you get into flight, you can hold this piece and bring these down. These are the stabilizer wings, which are connected to the landing gear. And that's what stabilizes the plane. If you guys didn't just see, I have some wings that fold in and out of the plane. Ship. Not plane. Ship. Spaceship. Pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, these long rods are like power cells up here where my thumb is. Those are like power cells. There's some gears up here as well to like spread out the energy. Kind of makes it look nice. Uh, and that's all this thing is. It's not supposed to be like a toy. It's supposed to be like a model. Uh, nice guns on the side of the wing. Pretty big. Nice articulation through the wings. Pretty smooth, unlike some other ones where you just have to put in a ton of force. But since these are heavy, it, they do quite easily. So, at the bottom, there's not much at the bottom. So, yeah, there's no, not really any point of showing you it. Surprisingly, this is a really short video for a ginormous plane. 
I'm sorry I can't show you much because of its ginormous size. I don't have a big enough camera, and I don't have a large stand to put the camera on. So, you're just going to have to trust instincts. Like, yeah. Sucks. I know. It always has been. But, yeah. Uh, I'm just going to apologize that I haven't been able to show you everything. Oh, I have sh showed you everything, but it's not, I haven't given you proper detail on it. Like, yeah, you can make it look pretty cool in such a way. You can even make it look like a TIE fighter if you wanted to. Just put these wings like these ones are down. You made a TIE fighter. But I don't really have another way to show the video because of the size and the dimensions of this. I can't fit it in my screen, and it's, I have a very small space to work on my videos, so, yeah, it's kind of disappointing, but it's kind of good at the same time, because I do get to do short videos on huge things, which take like 20 hours to do. Um, if you guys like this video, please, uh, like the, uh, if you guys like this video please slap the like button but if you guys like my channel and all my videos please subscribe that would help me with the, with me and the YouTubes around me this is Jacob signing off and I will see you guys in the next video